Hello again, my dear students. Our topic for today is how can water change? Let's know what is the cycle of water. So keep on watching and pay attention with me. First, let's know what is the importance of water. Water is important for drinking. We need water to drink, to stay alive. For bathing, for washing. We use water to wash our clothes. Also, water is important for cooking. When your mother is cooking food, she needs water. So, water is important for cooking. Water is important for swimming. When we go to the sea in the summer, we want to swim. So, water is important for swimming. Also, water is important for watering plants, so the plant can still alive. So, this is the importance for water. We said that water is important for drinking, cooking, bathing, swimming, washing, and watering plants. Let's know now what is the water cycle as shown in this figure. When the sun rays fall on the water as a river or as the sea, the water begins to evaporate and turns to clouds. We call this evaporation. Evaporation. So the water cycle begins with evaporation. When the sun rays again fall on water, the water begins to evaporate and turns to clouds. This is called evaporation. When we have many clouds, this is called condensation. Condensation. After sometimes when the cloud begins to fall down again as rain, this is called the precipitation. Precipitation. What the meaning of precipitation? It means falling down. After the after this, when the water go back again to the sea or to the river, they go back as groups. We call this collection, collection. So again, what is the water cycle? When the, water, when the sun rays falls on the water, the water begins to evaporate. This is called evaporation. When we have many clouds, this is called condensation. When the cloud begins to fall down as rain, this is called precipitation, precipitation. When the water go back to the sea, they go back as groups. The water go back as groups. Okay, this is called collection. Collection. Again, what is the water cycle? The water cycle begins with evaporation. When the sun rays fall on water, or like sea or like river, the water begins to evaporate and turns to clouds. We call this evaporation. Evaporation. Okay, when we have many clouds, this is called condensation. Condensation. When the cloud begins to fall down as rain, we call this precipitation. Precipitation. What the meaning of precipitation? means falling down. When the water go back again to the sea or to the river, they go back as groups. We call this collection. Collection. So again, the water cycle begins with evaporation, then condensation. Number three, precipitation. Number four, collection. Now, time for questions. The question is, choose the correct answer. Number one, the water is important for playing, swimming, milk. Which of these things the water is important for? Excellent. The water is important for swimming. Thank you. Question number two, water cycle begins with condensing, evaporating, collecting who is very clever can answer this question 
Excellent. Water cycle begins with evaporating. When the sun falls on water, it evaporates. Thank you. Number three. Water cycle ends with condensing, evaporating, collecting. Very good. Collecting. Water cycle ends with collecting. Thank you. Okay. This is the end of our session today. I hope all of you understand this lesson very well. Meet you in another session, inshallah. Goodbye.